You or someone in your family probably has some old 8mm film like this. On this YouTube video, I am going to show you how to transfer old 8mm film to DVD using a consumer process. It won't be at the quality that I can produce through my professional business, Star Video, but you will be able to transfer and watch your home movies played back on a DVD. First of all, you need a movie projector in working order. Number two, you will need a video camera. I am using a digital video camera. Make sure your camera is facing the wall where the image will be projected. You will need a gray board. I strongly recommend a gray board as opposed to the white. If you project onto a white surface, too much white light will come back to your camera at times and create a glare. The gray board does not have a negative effect on your movies. The whites will still be white. Then I recommend zooming into something in front of your screen that has detail. If your camera has a manual focus feature, I would do a manual focus. Many cameras with automatic focus may still work just fine. Thread your film into the projector and add an empty take-up roll. Turn on your projector and rotate the lens on your projector to focus the image on the board. Turn off the lights in the room. Do a test first by zooming your camera into the projected image on the board. When you have a well-framed image in your viewfinder on your video camera, stop your projector, turn on the lights, and rewind your movie film. You will now be set up and ready to start recording. This time, turn off the lights, turn your video camera on to record, turn your movie projector on, and play the movie from beginning to end. Put the next film on the projector. Repeat this process until you have recorded all of your movies. Okay, now you have recorded all of your home movies to a digital video camera. And you want to put those movies onto a DVD. We have a combo recorder here that we have used before. And I've shown you on my video how to transfer VHS tapes to DVD. But this time, we're going to transfer from a video camera, digital video camera, to the DVD. Most every camera is different, so I will only show you an example of what how you do it with this camera. But this camera has been provided with wires for a video output to the DVD recorder. Now I'm going to plug it in the proper plug-in connection to make the output from the camera to the, the combo recorder. You'll need to go and set with your remote to input from line two. Then you'll need to have your combo recorder hooked up to a TV screen and I've chosen the HDMI out from the combo recorder to the HDMI in on the TV screen. Now I'm going to turn the TV screen on. It will show you the thumbnails of the home movies that are recorded by the video camera. Place then a DVD in. I am placing a DVD in the combo recorder and it's set on source DVD and the input. You can tell that it's getting the input because it's displaying through the combo recorder to the TV screen. Now we can tell that the combo recorder, that the DVD recorder side is ready to record this video from the camera because it says two hours on the DVD display in, in time. That means the time it has to record. And we probably won't be recording for two hours, but if we do, that's fine. First of all, we're going to hit the record button on the DVD. And the DVD recorder is started recording. And now we hit the play button. You will need to start from the thumbnail that shows up on the screen of your first movie that you want to record from and just let it continually record until the end of all the movies you have. Once all the, the movies have been transferred from the camera to the combo recorder, you still need to finalize it. So you hit stop, you go into setup, and then you scroll down to disk edit, and you hit finalize, and then it asks you if you really want to finalize, and then you hit yes. After this has been finalized, 
you will be able to play this DVD back of your home movies, of your, the old movie film, on any DVD player.